this cow is incredibly lame as we can all see and in this video I really struggle to figure out what is wrong with her. This is the Hoof GP. So as this cow is being brought into our race, we can see she's struggling to put her foot on the ground. That is a major problem. These cows live outside almost 365 days of the year and their feet are very well kept, which is why I've narrowed this down already to one of two things, either feral in the foot or a nasty abscess. I don't have the luxury of being able to trim this cow's foot before determining where the problem is. Her feet are already short and I don't want to take any more hoof off than I have to. Once it's clean, I pull out these, the hoof testers. They're able to exert a huge amount of pressure to a very small area and I'm looking for a reaction in the cow to give me a clue as to where the problem is. You see her reacting there. As I press really hard on these, she's reacting, letting me know there's definitely something wrong with this outer claw. This farm has approximately 1,250 cows and out of all of those cows, only four are currently lame. However, this is definitely the lamest of those four. So to me, something fairly obvious has just transpired. She's got these little dots round about the white line area here. This is bruising, this kind of reddish purple area. All of this is um, pigmentation. But none of these are the things that are standing out. Also, this part here is just, just dirt. It's this part here that I'm worried about. Although it definitely could be wrong, which is why I'm taking my time here. Whatever it is, is causing her a huge amount of pain, as we've all just witnessed. Really not liking the look of this bit here, though. Really hard feet. These cows live outside all year round. Even when the, it's winter time and it's too wet for the fields. They're on open lots. If I go too far, I can cause damage that I really don't want to be causing. If I don't go far enough, well, I've done no good whatsoever. Be good to me, come on. I know I'm getting close to Corium in here. This yellowness is serum coming out of the cow's bloodstream and seeping into the hoof horn, discolouring it. It's certainly a cow that if we hadn't seen her walking, we would never have thought she was that lame. The funny thing is, I'm being so delicate here and then all of a sudden it could just completely open up and I could end up hacking away big chunks of hoof horn but at this stage you just do not know what way it's gonna go <sighs> come on oh doesn't like that does she? I know I'm going to put a block on that other claw so if I do make a mistake it's not the worst thing in the world I'd rather make a mistake and then find the problem than just to be too scared to do anything about it back to oh oh yes get in I am very glad we've just found that the original spot that I thought was gonna be the issue is exactly that. Right, it's time to get a block on that inner claw and then come back to doing more about this one. Genuinely really glad we found that. Some of you will be sitting at home thinking he was obviously very glad he found that for sake of the video. That wasn't the case, but it definitely did sound like it. For a second there, I didn't think I was gonna find anything wrong with this cow, but I knew there was something wrong. I knew her corium was inflamed and infected and I was praying and hoping that I would find 
exactly what I did find in the end. So I said in a previous video, by the way, that the biggest obstacle with merch anywhere in the world is shipping. But we have managed to drastically reduce the cost of shipping, especially to Australia and New Zealand. Still not as low as I would like it, but we're getting there. So Australia, New Zealand, America, you've all been lowered yet again. If you want any merch, go to thehoofgp.com. Although we now very clearly have found what is the issue, it is clear to me that that is not the full extent of her problems. The toe area is a very delicate part of the hoof and I need to be exceptionally careful not to go too deep. Still trying to be really careful. I've got a feeling this whole sole is going to end up being removed, but it's just a feeling at this point. I hate this. I need to force my knife through this hoof horn to remove it from the base of her foot, otherwise she will not get better. But exerting all of that force is impacting pain on her. See all of that gunk coming out. Oh, look at it, more and more and more. I think I'm gonna reduce this all right down because I think all of this corium underneath here is inflamed just like this fluid filled cavity was. Just move this up out of the way a bit and there's the sunshine out as well. Despite the fact that initially we really struggled to understand and discover the problem this cow had, we are really starting to make progress now. But the pain endured from toe problems is pretty much unavoidable, so I'm not sure we'll have made a difference oh, as to how she walks. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. The lamest one as well. There. You can tell that this cow has only recently gone lame because of the strong attachment still there when it comes to the hoof horn and the corium. It is not completely separated and there is no huge cavity for us to open up. These problems are very difficult to deal with and this is a trim that I'm actually extremely happy with. Now all that remains is to see if we've made any difference as to how she walks. After we've quickly trimmed her back left foot. No matter how severe or how obvious the problem is on one cow's hoof, every single cow that enters our crush gets all four feet checked. Every single time. Yes, I know you're wondering, that was indeed sped up. Right, all that remains to do for this little cow is wrap her foot with some magical paste, let her rip and see how she's walking compared to earlier on. Actually, that's pretty darn good. She's now putting her full weight on the block. It'll take a day or two until she realizes that the pain has really subsided. But as for the complete healing process, that'll take around a month.